Hey guys, welcome back to another Pilates with Jay. Today's workout is 10 minutes on the abs using a small Pilates ball. My ball is from Bahi Yoga and you can grab yourself one with a little discount if you use my code PTPJ10 when you head to www.ptpfit.com. But I'll leave the link in the description below of where you can get the ball that I'm using with a little discount. Other than that, all you need to know is that this is an intermediate level workout and you don't need anything else other than yourself and a mat if you've got one. So whenever you're ready, let's jump into the workout. Okay, so starting with the knees bent and both feet on top of the ball, we're lying down flat with the head on the floor, arms by our side and we're squeezing the knees and the ankles together so the legs are squeezed together and the body is laying flat on the mat keeping the shoulders down and back we are beginning with double leg slides so we're going to take a deep breath in tighten through our center and as we exhale we squeeze the legs together and slide them out away from the body so it's an exhale to slide and an inhale to bring it in. We're going to do eight of these to warm up. Exhale to slide, inhale to bring the legs back in. Good. We're focusing on squeezing those legs together. So tightening through the inner thighs and also keeping the spine as still as possible as we slide the legs away. So just the legs are moving. Everything else is nice and still on the mat. And we're tightening through our core as we do this. We've just got a couple more here before we make it a little bit harder. Let's go exhale, slide. Inhale to bring it back. And then from here, we're keeping the feet on the ball, knees bent. And we're going to scoop up through the abs, reaching the hands past the hips. The shoulders come up off the floor, chin tucked in, reaching those arms forward. We're going to start pulsing the arms up and down. And then we're going to add our leg slide. So it's an exhale to slide still and an inhale to bring it back. At the same time, we're coordinating the pulsing of the arms from the shoulders. And we're keeping the chin tucked in scooping through those abs and eyes looking forward good just a few more here making sure we're really pulsing the whole arms not just the wrists up and down with every exhale thinking of scooping up a little bit more good and last one here we exhale slide inhale bring the legs in and then we can rest the upper body back down onto the mat. We're going to grab the ball and pop it in between the knees next and take the hands behind the head, elbows wide. And we're going into an ab curl. So with the ball in the knees, as we exhale and curl up, we also want to squeeze on the ball with both knees. And then as we inhale and rest back down, we release the tension on the ball. So it's an exhale to curl up and squeeze and an inhale to rest. Focusing on keeping those elbows nice and wide, chin tucked in and pressing evenly with both knees. So squeezing the inner thighs and placing even pressure from both knees into the ball as you curl up. Good. Just a few more to go here and then we're making it a little bit harder. So exhale squeeze and lift inhale lower back down great work guys we're going to continue now with the legs in tabletop so it's exactly the same thing it's an exhale squeeze on that ball and curl the body up and an inhale rest back down now we just really need to focus on drawing that belly button down to the mat and making sure that our lower back doesn't arch keeping those elbows wide as we curl up and coordinating that squeeze on the ball with both knees with the exhale and lift. Good, we're just gonna go for one more, exhale, lift, inhale, rest, and then relaxing the legs back down. 
Okay, for the next one, bring the arms up, ball in the hands and knees hip distance apart in tabletop position. We're going to exhale, tap one toe, inhale, bring it back. Alternating sides as we go. It's an exhale to tap and an inhale to bring it back. If you wanted to make it a little bit harder, we can get the arms working too. And as you exhale and tap, we can give that ball a squeeze with both hands, keeping the arms straight. Good. So coordinating the tap of the toe with the squeeze of the hands on the ball and making sure we're focusing on drawing that belly button down again and not arching through the lower back. So nice and controlled with this one. Exhale to tap. Inhale to bring it back. Doing really well. And just one more. Exhale, tap. And inhale, bring it back. From here, we're going to keep the legs in tabletop hip distance apart and go straight into bicycle legs. So we're scooping up through the abs, reaching forward with those arms. And we're going to exhale, extend one leg out nice and long. And inhale to bring it back in. And we're alternating legs. So we exhale to extend. And we inhale to bring it back. We're scooping through these abs, keeping lifted, eyes looking forward and reaching forward with those arms. Just a couple more here. This one's tough, so really focus on drawing that belly button down. And if you need to make it easier, just extend those legs up a little bit higher. The lower you go with the legs, the harder it's going to be to keep the belly button down. Good. And finishing off your last one and relaxing back down. Nice work, guys. We're gonna come up to sitting for the next one and we're placing the ball in between the shoulder blades, just back behind the upper back and coming down onto our elbows. Knees are bent, feet hip distance apart. With the hands behind the head, elbows wide, we inhale and stretch back over the ball, opening through the chest. And exhale, we're gonna curl up, rotating opposite shoulder towards the opposite knee for an oblique curl up on the ball and then inhale come back over alternating sides so we exhale curl up and rotate opposite shoulder to opposite knee and it's an inhale to rest the ball should be right up behind your upper back so just make sure that it's not too low and not forcing your lower back to overarch good just a couple more here exhale curl up and rotate Inhale, take that stretch over. Really think about rotating opposite shoulder to opposite knee whilst keeping the elbows as wide as you can. And let's just finish off one last one. Exhale, curl up. Inhale, rest. And then place the arms back down by your side so you can push yourself back up to sitting. So reaching the arms forward, sitting up tall, and then we're gonna curl back through the spine, nice and slow and controlled, until we reach about halfway down. So it's like a half sit up position, and you should feel those abs start to work to hold you in this position. From here, we exhale, rotate to one side, inhale, bring it back, and we're alternating sides. So exhale, twist, inhale, bring it back. Good, working through the sides of the waist, making sure that the eyes are following the hands. Just a couple more. Keeping the shoulders down as you rotate. Let's go to the last one and then reaching the arms forward to come back to sitting up. We're just gonna take a breather here and then we're gonna repeat that exercise. So reaching forward, curling back through the spine. We exhale, rotate, inhale, bring it back. Good, this is the second round deep breaths as it gets harder. Exhale out through the mouth as you rotate. Inhale in through the nose as you bring it in. Doing really well. Two more here. Last one. And then reaching forward to rest. Well done guys. We're going to come on over to our hands and knees for our last exercise. We're going to pop the ball in between the legs just above the knees and we're coming into a plank position. So tucking the toes under, 
wrists right under the shoulders and lifting the knees up off the floor into a plank. We're going to inhale, tap both knees down and exhale to lift. So it's an inhale to tap, exhale to lift. Keep the eyes looking directly in between the hands, really engaging through our center, making sure we're not arching through the lower back. And as we tap, we want to try and keep the hips as still as possible and not be piking up and down as the legs move. So we want to keep the hips low in our plank position. Now next one up, we're going to hold that plank to finish. So holding still, deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth and holding for another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, and resting. Well done, guys. Really good work. We're going to stretch it out now. So we're going to take a prayer stretch, feet together, knees out wide, and you can use the ball if you want to, popping the hands on top just for an extra stretch underneath the shoulders as you rest the hips back. Otherwise, you can relax the hands on the floor, whatever you prefer. Thank you so much for joining me again for another workout. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure that you like and subscribe to my channel. And if you want more Pilates content, follow me at Pilates with Jade on Instagram as well. And that's it from me. So have a lovely day and I will see you next time.